Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this beam and to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram for this overhanging beam. The uniformly distributed load of two kN per meter is acting only on the four meter length of the beam, and the overhanging portion of the beam, which is three meter, has no load. So to find out the support reaction, let's consider this is A support and this is B support. So it is a hinge. It is a hinge support, so it can take the vertical load R A, and it will take the also vertical load, which will be R B. Hence, it is a hinge support, so it can also take the horizontal load. But there is no horizontal load acting on the beam. That's why the horizontal component of this support reaction is equal to zero. Now to find out R A and R B here, we can easily find out by just in a simple way and how. For example, two kN per meter is the load acting on the beam. It is a uniformly distributed load. Multiplying it with the length on which it is distributed, which is four meter. So, if you multiply these two quantities, we get eight kN. So, we convert the uniformly distributed load into a pointed load. Now, this pointed load will act here at this point, at the center of the beam, at the mid portion of the beam. I mean, at two meter from here. And two meter from here, total is four meter, so it will act at the mid portion of the beam, eight kN. Now eight kN is acting at the mid of the beam, so half will load, half load will be taken by this, and half will be taken by this. So eight means if we divide this eight by two, so it means half of the load, four kN, will be taken by our A support, and half will be taken by our B support. So this is the easy way to calculate the Support reaction. Now we have support reaction. Now to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram here. So first we will draw the reference lines. Here are the reference lines for the shear force, and then we have reference lines for the bending moment. This is for the shear force in the unit of kilonewton, and here is the bending moment reference lines in the unit of kilonewton meter. So now to start with the shear force. We know that this reaction we find out it is four kN, and here we also find out it is also four kN. So now starting from zero zero, so here this load is reaction is acting in the upward direction four kN. So we will bring this up to the four units, and then there is a load of two kN per meter acting on this beam in the downward direction. So four is acting upward direction, this one plus four. Minus this is load is acting in downward direction, which is two kN per meter. So plus four minus two multiply with the four because it is distributed over the length of four meter. So plus four minus eight it will become minus eight. So plus four minus eight if we subtract in eight this value we will get minus four. So it will bring this shear force up to the value of minus four. This whole load bring this value to the minus four. So now here again, four kN is acting in the upward direction, so it will act in the upward direction and it will close the shear force. So this is the negative shear force. This is the positive shear force. So this is the shear force diagram for this beam. To draw the bending moment diagram, we will find the area of this shear force box A1, and also the area of this shear box A2. So it will be our moment diagram. Now to find the area of this shear box, this one. So it is a triangle. If we see here, there is a height, there is a base, and this is a hypotenuse. So to find the area of this, it will be equal to the half base into height. This is a way to find out the area of a triangle. So now half base is here. Base is half of the four meter, two meter here. So half base was two meter, and height is four here. So this comes out to be four kN meter. This is the area of the first triangle. So up to here, which is a two meter distance. So the moment is four kN meter here. At this point, at the center of the beam, here at the center of the, uh, at the center of the only of the simply supported part. Now the area of this part, again, it is also two meter. As I showed before, so here is two meter. So the area of this box will be equal to the 
again is the triangle base into height so half base into height half base is 2 meter height is 4 again but it is minus 4 so it will become minus 4 kilonewton meter so this is plus 4 if we add the, with the minus 4 so it will bring it to the 0 so here we will again 0 so this is the bending moment diagram for this beam hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram and it should also be kept in mind that the bending moment diagram should always be one degree greater than the shear force diagram for example here this was a linear line shear force of one degree so this will be always bending moment will be always one degree greater than the shear force so it's like a kind of two degree line so this is the way how to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching our video